Payments is really the, the make or break moment. The building of a brand, designing of a product, creation of a service. That all leads up to a moment where a customer decides that they want your, your product or your service. And that is where you convert them to an actual customer. Anything that prevents the final purchase of a good or service is very impactful. If anything goes wrong, that automatically could be perceived as a negative for the brand. A traditional payment landscape is often fragmented. There are six or seven different players who are all responsible for different parts of a payment. And the dependency on each of those players at separate parts is what creates that fragmented challenge in the environment. Adian's mission is to build the financial technology platform that helps businesses achieve their ambitions faster. We combine payments, data insights, and financial services in one platform to support our customers. The word Adian is actually a Surinamese word that stands for to begin again. Our co-founders had actually created a different payments company and sold it to a major bank. But after spending some time at the bank, they decided there's still a lot of opportunity to continue to innovate in this space. There are a lot of technology companies out there, but they don't deeply understand financial services. On the other hand, there's banks that have a lot of technology to use to build their space, but they're not necessarily technology companies at the core. They're not as nimble and not as fast moving. What we believe makes Adyen really stand out is we combine both. We're a technology company that has a banking license. So we've built one platform from the ground up so that customers can integrate into one platform get access into our whole global breadth of coverage from a geographic perspective, also access across all different payment methods we support, and finally access different channels from online to in-store. We've always thought that we're building this business for the long term, and if you look at our customers, right, they are some of the biggest companies in the world, and we want to make sure that we are partners with them for the long term, not a transactional nature. So we think it's really helpful to take this long-term approach and think of it as a marathon rather than a sprint, while at the same time making sure we are keeping the speed and innovating um, to really help our global customer base. Addy and Embrace Radial as a partner. Radio started as an e-commerce merchant and evolved into a managed services offering for our clients. Payments are an important part of the radial experience because it allows us to start with a payment, fraud screening, logistics fulfillment, uh, all the way to the post-customer purchase where you might have to deal with return, chargeback, or a refund. Radio wants to provide a smooth customer journey all the way through the process. Adian having that unified platform allows us to have a single point of contact for account management. Your product owners in North America are the same or similar in the EU and UK. You don't have to connect to a multitude of different systems to get a global experience to work. They brought the correct teams to help talk through solutions that Adian could provide. They were able to create outside of the box solutions that allowed us to continue our processes and flows that were important to managing our day-to-day -day business. At Adian, we believe making a positive contribution is the core to what we do. We make good choices to build an ethical business and help drive sustainable growth for our customers. We think it's a big part of giving back to society. And there are two examples of things we're doing. One is called giving and the other is restore. With giving, we are basically making it easy for customers in the checkout process to also make a donation to the charity of choice. If the charity of choice fits within one of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, then Adyen picks up the full processing cost of that transaction. So the charity gets 100% of the funds that were donated. Restore is basically doing the equivalent for customers who want to offset the carbon footprint that's generated as part of their purchase. And both of these can happen within that checkout experience. And so we think we can really create this multiplier effect and have a much bigger impact on society than what we would just directly contribute ourselves. Adian was first an online payment gateway. And second, added on an acquiring bank added on in-store expansion like point of sale, continued expansion into additional payment methods, 
added on the ability to support platforms and marketplaces. We've done a lot of change over time and a lot of expansion in order to support our customers. As an example, some of the financial services we can now provide are for the platforms we work with, we can now enable them to provide loans to the companies and small businesses they work with. We can also enable them to either pay out directly to credit or debit cards or enable them to issue cards. The short of it is, we're trying to see what we can do on our end to simplify things and make sure that we're understanding what the trends are and honestly in some places helping create the trends and through that helping then simplify these down for our customers so that they can then access and be at the forefront of innovation. I believe that part of being an ideal solution provider is being able to be flexible. Adian understands how we operate and how we interact with our clients. And that is important when trying to move forward with a partner that's going to help you grow. We focus on payments and our customers focus on what they do best. 